I can hear you asking Ahmed what the hell is even a design system? A design system lets you store your general UI design elements such as typography, color or even menus. Creating these UI elements in advance saves you a lot of time because once you have a design system, you only need to make new changes to the master elements. Using an already created design system saves you even more time because you don't even need to create a design system in advance, you can just pick and put the elements you want to use and boom your project is done that is why I will share with you these three best design systems I found on Figma that are free to use let's move to our first UI design system chakra if you actually go to the team page in this design system you will see the colors here and the first thing you will see is there are some primary secondary tertiary colors of different let's say hues and also you can see the typography the header sizes the paragraph sizes etc as well now if you want to see their UI design elements such as buttons go to the components page and you will see the buttons page here where they have have buttons that are filled with their primary green color and they also have buttons that are unfilled they also have buttons that have icons and they also have buttons that have no icons if you move down you will find their menus input frames as well where you will have the input elements such as you will find some drop downs you will some you will find some text fields you will find some text areas and you can see how they actually design these where the paddings on the left top left and top are usually the same and, and this requires a lot of attention to detail as well. Now if you go to their experimental page you can see that we have two different pages. One is actually creating a complex pop-up menu with the buttons and the text typography we, they had defined earlier and the other one is creating a color input field where user can actually put in a particular color they want to see. This is my favorite design system in this tutorial because it has extensive explanation on why a certain UI element is created in the way it is and how to use it in the right place in your designs. Here they show you what kind of colors they use in their color system but they also explain to you how to use particular colors and also how to further extend this color system if you wish to. They go even further in their UI design elements such as buttons. They show you the five different types of buttons you get to use in this design system. They show you where to use each of them and they even show you the exception buttons such as the danger button or the ghost button that you need to use only a few times in your design projects. They go even further in explanation when it comes to designing a more complex UI components such as menus. First, they show you the principles and goals of the navigation elements such as menus before showing you what kind of variations you have. This is especially important because they are thinking about the user such as the software engineer or designer who is going to use a system and they know it is not only about how but also why. Once we get to the frame where we actually see the navigation menus, we can see two different types. The first is the horizontal menu where you have the tab structure to actually navigate. The second one is the sidebar vertical menu where you can use your vertical options to actually pick where you want to go. Now the last design system we have is Tailwind design system and it is short and to the point. Tailwind starts with a style guide that gives you a glimpse of its colors, typography and simple UI elements such as button variations. Then we can move on to components page where we have access to other UI elements and let's go for the tags or badges. You can see how there is filled version, unfilled version and one key difference that Tailwind use is the border radius. You can see ones that just have a bit of a tiny border and you can see where it's almost a half width of the actual element itself. The next interesting UI design element in this design system is breadcrumbs. When we actually look at their breadcrumbs, we see there are two different versions. One is with the light background, the other is with the dark background. We can see that when we are in the light background one, the application the design system uses to change the color of the text 
to show where the user is on a particular application. But when we are looking at the dark background, we don't see any text indication. I like Tailwind components because they are simple and you get to learn a lot from them if you were to design your first design system because chances are your project is not as complex that would require either Chakra or Ant design system. All these three design systems were actually created to be front-end frameworks which is why if you are a front-end developer you can learn these design systems and use them to create high fidelity designs in Figma and also move them to front-end development for HTML, CSS, JavaScript very easy. You can read their documentation and they are pretty extensive. Now that you understand how to use an existing design system but you want to really create your own, watch this video next.